What's up, everyone? So today I'm going to be uh, burning a San Diego State logo uh, into a TV tray. So all I did was print out this logo, uh, and I inverted the logo in Photoshop, but it actually ended up not being necessary uh, because this time I was able to just trace it. San the San Diego State logo is such a simple logo that uh, I didn't have to do what I normally would do when I burn uh, logos into trays, which is invert the photo and then use a grease pen to trace it and then put it on the tray itself and, you know, like rub it with something hard so that the grease pen uh, transfers the image over to the piece of wood. So with this one, it ended up being a little different. Normally what I do is, you know, I only burn the logo and I don't use any paint. I don't do anything like that because I'm able to get like depth and I'm able to get like, I guess some dimension, but because the San Diego State logo is so simple uh, that after I burned it, I just felt like it was just so plain and uh, that I needed to do more. I really enjoy doing these trays, you know? Uh, it'd be easy to pay somebody to like get a laser engraved or have a machine do it. But when I do these myself, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just for me, it's like that sense of pride. But also, too, all the little imperfections by using a handheld wood burning tool, it's just, it's what gives it its character. So that's why I do these. You know, I did a set of four for my brother. Uh, it was the Denver Broncos logos. And I say logos because what I did was I picked each one from, you know, a different era. And I burned all of them into separate trays. And, I mean, they just turned out beautiful. So I really enjoyed doing this, uh, you know on my own and not paying somebody to do it. So I ended up going over this twice with the word burning tool uh, to give it more, uh, a more definitive uh, line. And then I ended up going over the outline with a white paint marker. Uh, after that, you know, I, I went and got some colors, uh, black and red, obviously. And I got a red that was closest uh, to Scarlet Red, which is what SDSU's logo is. Uh, and yeah, you know, I just applied the paint uh, to the logo. So whenever I'm, you know, painting or even burning the logo into, you know, the, the tray, it's just all about taking your time because any mistake that happens requires me going outside and you know, sanding the area where I made the mistake and then coming back in. So it's just easier to slow down and do it right the first time. One thing I will say is that as I started to apply the black paint, uh, you start to lose the the line that I burned in with the wood burning tool, you know? Uh, you can see it up close and it has a really cool texture when you're like right on it, like the position I'm in now. Uh, but from far away, you know, you kind of lose it. So that was kind of the, the one thing about painting, which is usually why I don't do this, but you know, you'll see in the end, it actually turned out really well. and. Once you're on it, again, like the closer you are to it, the more you could appreciate, you know, the fact that I took the time to, to burn the logo into the tray. So you'll see here as I get a little more black in the logo uh, that this really starts to pop, you know. And at the end of the day, I was just really excited with how this turned out. I was really pleased. Uh, I chose not to use any more color other than on the two letters of the logo uh, because I wanted those to be the focus of you know, of the tray. So what I did once uh, everything was filled in and dried is I took it outside and you'll see here shortly, I just used a clear coat in order to protect it because I am going to use this, you know, to eat on, you know, put my drinks on, you know, whatever the case may be. So this is going to get used. I didn't just make it so it as a decorative piece. So as I finish the final touches on this, I just want to say thanks for watching another one of my videos. I really enjoy building things for myself. You know, there's nothing more satisfying than you know, having an idea and, you know, executing it. And it turning out well the way this did. So, you know, here I am putting that finishing coat, a clear coat on. And, uh, yeah, you know, here's the close-up of uh, what it looks like. 